Today we're going to look at the problem that many people are having with prolific USB to serial cables. The older chipset no longer works with the newer driver. Let's take a look at that. First of all, I'll demonstrate what the problem is. In order to do that, let's look at the device manager. We do that by pressing the Windows key on our keyboard, or if we don't have a Windows key, we can click on the start icon, and then we just type device manager, and then we click here. Of course, I'm doing this on Windows 10. The same procedure on Windows 7. I'll just connect the cable so you can see what's happening. So as you can see, we've connected a USB prolific serial to COM port cable. What this cable does is enables us to plug a USB cable into our computer and then give us a serial COM port at the other side. This cable looks like it's working correctly. It's given us a COM port number. That's a communications port number and it's given us COM port number three, as you can see. However, it does actually have a little yellow triangle next to it, which indicates that this device is not actually working properly. Let's have a quick look by right clicking on the device and clicking properties. As we can see here, it says that this device can not start. It's given us an error code of code 10. Now, let's have a quick look at what driver it's using. It's using a, a, a prolific driver. Well, we know it's a prolific cable. We can see that because it says so there. We also can see that the driver version it's using is from 2018 and it's version 3.8.28.0. The problem that we have is that the cable we have actually connected to the computer is from 2012 and the previous version of the prolific chip doesn't work with the latest set of drivers. So, what do we need to do about this? Well, we actually need to backdate the driver. I'll show you how to do that. First of all, let's click close here and we're just going to minimize device manager. I'm going to open the new version of Microsoft Edge. And actually, I've got a bookmark saved just here where we're going to download the drivers from. In the comments section of this video, I will leave a link to where you can download the drivers. And the website we're going to now is by a chap called John Micklaw, who originally identified this problem and has provided the drivers as a solution, which is very helpful indeed. Let's go there now. So let's just pop down to the link that we need. That's here and it's installing the proper driver, which is 3.2.0.0. Let's click there and it'll take us down to the section of the page we need to be at. So the one that we want to download is this one here where it says 3.2.0.0 EXE, because that's the one that we need. Let's click download. And by doing that, all we do is we just click on the blue link and it'll start to download itself. All right, again, I'm using the new version of Microsoft Edge and it's downloaded it straight away. Let's go and have a look in the folder where it downloaded it to. Well, that's just wonderful, look at that. Right click on there and click open. You might need to click run as administrator if you are not an administrator of your computer. In that case, it will ask the administrator to put in their login and their password. I am an administrator, I can just click open. All right, yes we do want to do that. That was just Microsoft asking us if we want to make these changes and we do. We click next. Okay, we accept the license, because if we don't, it won't install. And then we click finish. That's not all though. It might seem that we've done everything we need to do. Let's close this window and let's close Microsoft Edge. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go back to Device Manager, which we minimized earlier, and we can still see that we've got our prolific USB to serial uh, device just here. We need to right click on there and click Update Driver. 
Then we need to click Browse My Computer for Drivers. And then we need to click this link that says Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers. You'll see that there's actually two, you might have more, drivers shown in this list. We are currently, as we looked at earlier, using this driver here from 2018. What we need to do is use the backdated driver from 2007 that John Micklaw himself gave us the solution for. Again, I will be leaving a link to that page in the video description. Let's click next. Windows has successfully installed your drivers. Let's click close. Now we will see that the little triangle that we saw earlier has gone. We've still got the same com or communications port number, but this time if we click properties again, in order to do that, I click right click on here and then click top from there. It now says this device is now working properly. That's it. That's how to solve the Code 10 issue with prolific USB to serial drivers on Windows. I have checked that this works on Windows 7 and Windows 10.